Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back in ClickUp and I'm going to be showing you how I use ClickUp to manage my YouTube channel and to manage different videos that we have in the pipeline through the filming phase. Well, actually all the way from ideation to filming to editing to publishing, we're going to have all of that wrapped into ClickUp as we build this today. So I'm really excited to get into this. If you are a YouTuber, you're probably going to benefit from this tutorial and I highly recommend you check out ClickUp. If you have a team, you might need the paid plan. So definitely use my 20% off code that you can find in the description and ClickUp will send me a little kickback as well, thankfully. So that's a good way for us to incentivize me making some more ClickUp videos on this channel, but it's all around a great software. So I don't doubt that you will uh, enjoy it. There's also a free plan. So the free plan should work if you're just a solo team. All right, now let's get into ClickUp and start building this thing. All right, so here we are in a fresh ClickUp account. And this is where I'm going to be managing my YouTube channel, among other things. So what I wanna do at this point, once I have my workspace created is, well, let's actually get some YouTube red colors in here. So I'm gonna to go to my settings and I'm gonna change my color theme to this red here. That'll give us some nice YouTube accents. I like that. Or I could go with my orange for productive dude. Let's just stick with the red though. These colors are nice, I like it. Uh, you can also scroll down into here and turn it to dark mode or high contrast mode. Save changes. I think this looks very YouTube-esque, so maybe we'll stick with this dark mode for this tutorial. Hey guys, let me know below. Are you a dark mode fan or a light mode fan? Comment, I'm not sure on whether I should be making dark mode videos or light mode videos. I usually stay with light mode because it's a safe bet, but if you guys all like dark mode, I'll make more dark mode videos. I usually go with system settings. I usually go with like dark mode on like at night um, and then light mode during the day. Also, while you're at it and while you're helping us improve our chances of ranking on YouTube by leaving a comment, drop a like as well if you're enjoying this video so far. So what we need to do is we need to create a new space for our channel or our channels. We can create multiple spaces here and those can serve as different channels. So in this case, I'm just gonna hit new space and I'm going to call it productive dude. I'm gonna hit next. And here I can change that to my orange productive dude. And let's just see if we can find a video camera or something like that. It's pretty good, hit next. And then you can make this either private or you can make it a shared workspace. I'm just gonna make it private and then I'm going to share it with Drake who helps me edit these videos and publish them. He does a great job, by the way. Leave some love for Drake in the comments. He's the editor here. He does not get enough credit. Um, does a lot of great work here. Uh, so hit next and then we can go ahead and set up our task statuses. So these you can think of as our video statuses. So instead of tasks, just replace that word with video um, because that's what we are going to be doing today is creating uh, different tasks based on each video that we wanna come out with. So I'm gonna go with the Kanban, but I'm gonna change these active statuses. So let's rename this one to idea. So this means that it's simply an idea that we have uh, this one here, let's change it to filming. Let's change this one to editing, publishing. So these will be the different ways that we explain what stage the video is at. Now I'm gonna hit next. And here we can set up the click apps that we wanna use. So these are pretty neat. Uh, there's lots of different click apps in here, but you don't need to use all of these. Uh, you can keep it pretty simple actually if you want to. I'm just gonna stick with, I'll actually turn priority off. Um, we'll keep tags. Actually, I don't, I don't even know why we would need tags for this particular setup. Multiple assignees will be necessary. Custom fields, yeah, we'll need custom fields. Time tracking would be good for Drake, uh, just to keep track of how long he works on these videos. I could probably use that as well. Uh, Incomplete warning, dependency warning, those are good to have. Uh, except we probably won't use any dependencies, so I'm gonna turn that off. Incomplete warning is good though. All right, now let's just hit next. And how do we wanna view this? Well, I'm going to view it as a board and I'm gonna make that the default view. You also have to keep list, it's always required here. 
um, but I'm just gonna stick with board for now. Then I'm gonna hit review space, and it gives us a chance to go through all the settings, make sure everything looks good, then we can hit create space. Now you'll see this nice Kanban view here. We have idea, filming, editing, and publishing. And from here, we can add new tasks, or in other words, new videos. So as I have different ideas, I can just hit new task here, an idea, and I can give the video a name. So let's just say uh, ClickUp tutorial, how to use ClickUp as a YouTuber. So that's this video that I'm filming right now. So now this task is part of this list that got generated under Productive Dude. I'm just going to call this list videos. Okay, so all of our videos will be located in here. We could also have a list that says something along the lines of sponsors. And we could create like a CRM in here for our sponsors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some more ideas in here for videos. All right, now I've got some ideas listed here, and as I start planning these ideas and moving them onto the filming stage, I might wanna dig a little bit deeper. So for this ClickUp tutorial here, it would be nice if I had a description in here that gave me a script. So what I could do is I could just hit the slash button, and then I could type in H2, and that's gonna pull up a heading two. I can hit enter, and then I can just type in script. Underneath that, I can just put in a brief outline. So maybe I have intro, and then some things that I wanna say in the intro. Examples of how I use this. Example one, example two, and then how to build it. And then if I want to, I can hit slash and type in div, hit enter, and that will put a nice divider in here. Now I'm gonna copy this script here paste that down here and I'm going to write notes to editor. And down here, I can just add any notes that I might have for the editor to keep an eye on. Uh, and if I wanna draw attention to this area, I can hit slash and then just type in red and just click on this banner here. You can also create subtasks within this video if you want to. I usually don't go that deep with this because we have a process that works really well already and we don't really need to break it down to constituent pieces. Breaking it down into these statuses is enough for me uh, to see where a project is at. So since this one's actually in filming, let's drag that over. And what I would do when I start filming this video in an ideal scenario is I would just hit this start timer. So then the entire duration that I'm filming this content, it just gets tracked. And then once I'm done, I can hit stop. That way I can see that I spent seven seconds there. And if I wanna hit start again, once we start up that project again, it'll start the timer over. But let's say it's another seven seconds, hit enter. Now you're gonna see that it totals up to 15, but it was probably like seven and a half plus seven and a half. So it totaled up to around 15. You can also set a due date for this project right here. And then if I want to, I can at Drake in here and just say at Drake. This project is complete, check it out. Hit comment, and then Drake will get a notification uh, when I send that message over to him. And he can reply here and ask any questions that he might have about the video. But of course, he can go in here and see notes to editor as well. Now down here in the attachment section, I could upload the raw clips, or I could even just add a Google Drive attachment so that uh, it can link to a folder that we might have in Google Drive if you wanna use that for your storage but that's where you might upload like the raw clips that you wanna send over to the editor after they're done filming. So then once the filming is done and I've added an attachment link, I could go like this. And now that it's in editing, that would mean that it's assigned to Drake at this point. So I'm actually gonna have me and Drake on here, but Drake knows that when this goes to editing, that that's his responsibility at that point. And then after I finished filming that and that moves on to editing, I know that I'm done with that for now and Drake's going to finish off the process. So I would move on to my next video. So I drag that to filming. Of course, I'd wanna go in here and write an outline first if I uh, wanted to do something similar to the last video. But yeah, that's essentially how you would use this. It's a pretty simple setup. If you go down here to docs, you can also hit add new 
And let's say we wanted to create a research doc. So let's just call this uh, keyword research. And then I might put in um, my desk setup. And then from there, I might just go and do some basic keyword research using some of the keyword tools that I have at my disposal. And then I could just enter some of the best keywords in here. And I could do that into a table. So the nice thing is I can just hit slash table, hit enter, and then I could do uh, keyword score and notes. So I would use my keyword tool to go find uh, keywords that we want to target. So maybe Vari standing desk is one of them. And let's say that's a 67 score in our keyword tool. And I want to leave a note just saying, include this in title and description. And then I could go on to my next keyword and add that in as well. So now that this document is created, I could close out of this. And if I go to all under docs, you're going to see that right in here. You're also going to see this other doc that I created yesterday. I'm going to delete that. But yeah, this is where your docs show up. And you can also view them in like a gallery view, which I like a lot better. Then let's say I go back to my videos here. I go into my desk setup. And what I could do at this point is just hit at, and then I could mention a doc. So I could go over to docs here, and I could just link this doc right here. I could just say, hey, at Drake, check out this keyword document to see what keywords we are targeting. And boom, that's pretty nice because now you can just click on that and it will open this up within the window. And then once you see those, you can just tap in some of this blank space over here and that is going to still be there. You can also link these in here by hitting at, going to docs, same sort of process, keyword research, my desktop, my desk setup. And then I could just say, check out these keywords. All right, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that ClickUp tutorial of me kind of showing you how to use ClickUp as a YouTube creator. And if you are a YouTube creator, please leave a comment below. And maybe if I get some time and I don't get too many comments, I can check out all the channels that you guys leave below. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, by the way, if you are still here, check out our ClickUp playlist over on the right of the screen. You can just click on that uh, playlist link and that'll show you all the ClickUp videos we've made. It'll definitely be helpful. And if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy those ones. And underneath that, we have a subscribe link. So if you click on that, you can subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on the bell notification if you do wanna be notified when we come out with new videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one.